Elsewhere, Makweni Senator Mutula Kilonzo is convinced that finding the exact cause of his father's death will be a tall order. The senator says this is after the family's appointed pathologist questioned the validity of the samples used in the autopsy. In an interview with KTN's Aaron Ocheng, Mutula Jr. revealed that his recent summons to record a statement to the CID was linked to the British pathologist's refusal to append his signature to the autopsy report. Well, here's part one of that interview. A few days ago, you were at the CID headquarters. Uh, yes. You've been summoned to explain a few things in regard to tampering with the materials that were to be used for autopsy. Yes. Maybe if you could take us through that. Yes, my statement to the, to the CID um, arises from the post-mortem. Mm -hmm. After the post-mortem of my late father was done, uh, <coughs> we agreed because we had family pathologists, we had the government pathologist, and we had a British pathologist by the name Professor Calder. It is only later, 10 months, November 2013, that we come to learn from Professor Calder that he received his samples on 14th of May, which is equivalent to almost 15 days after the postmortem of my late father, and the samples were unsealed and appeared tampered with. Mm -hmm. That is the point we started having uh, problems. And in his also his report, he said that irrespective of the fact that the samples appeared contaminated, in his own words. Mm. The cause of my father's death was something he called catastrophic, something that was ingested that caused catastrophic hemorrhage. That's why he had three liters of blood in his lung. Every, when we, I pressed his chest, and when I found him in his bed, blood oozed from his nose. By the time we were at Leafen Row home, blood was still coming out of his mouth. So therefore, the only downside about what transpired is that the samples were contaminated in such a way that we could not get any other samples to send to Professor Calder to ensure that he, con he conducts an alternative examination and therefore signs his report. So he has issued a report with a caveat that I will not sign this report because uh, the samples that you gave me mm -hmm. appeared to have been contaminated and interfered with. Okay. Yes. Do you think or believe uh, probably your late father was assassinated? I don't believe. Uh, it's a fact that my late father um, was given or ingested or somebody caused his death. Uh, it's, it's, it's obvious. Okay. Yeah. And why would someone want uh, Mutula Kilonzo dead? That's a good question. <laughs> That's what. It's a good question because uh, there's no seat he wanted. There's nobody he owed money. There's nothing that he was looking after other than himself. Uh, he was not a threat to anybody, either in leadership or otherwise. So, it's, I mean, that is a question that I've asked myself for a long time because uh, I do not know the reason why anybody would want Mtula Kilonzo, that nice, legal, and clear mind out of the face of the earth. It's the most unusual thing that I can think of. Okay, the mystery surrounding the investigations uh, into his death uh, are so complicated. Uh, do you think we'll ever find the truth? I'm not quite sure, because uh, from what I've seen in the post-mortem, I don't think we, people are keen to know what happened to him. Suffice to say, for my own purposes, and maybe for other family members, mm -hmm. uh, I am myself persuaded, convinced 100% that my father died of unnatural causes, and in this case, poison, a poisonous substance. That for me would be good enough. As to whether we will find the chain of people who did this, or one person, or three people, or five people, it will not bring my father to life. But there's somebody somewhere who is walking this God's green earth and that person caused my father's death. And for the life of me, God will pay that person or persons for what I would call uh, absolute cold blood murder of the late Mutula Kilonzo.